Hey guys, how's it going? Master Bucks here, and welcome back to another episode of this Masters FC Creator Club career mode. We're off and rolling in the championship for this second season of the series, where we started off well against Stoke City. Our first home game of the season is coming up here against QPR, but we are still in August, we are still in the trench window, and I asked you for a little bit of assistance with deciding a possible future transfer in the last one. I'm currently in the market for a right winger, or at least a winger that I could have played down that right hand side as a bit of a backup or maybe even a starter and I've ended up looking at a couple of free agents I asked you guys for your uh, input there but we also came across Ryan Shirky who is five star skills five star weak foot absolute baller 72 overall and 17 years of age pretty goddamn impressive he's got uh, 6.5 million dollar value but I might have to pay about 8 to 11 possibly for him I've got like only eight or nine million in the bank but according to most of you from what i gauged off of the comments in the last episode yes you do indeed want me to go for this man and so we are going to attempt to shine uh ryan shirky in this episode and fingers crossed we can pull it off again looking at the budget we should be able to afford him but if they end up wanting way, way, way too much for him, then I might not be able to afford him. I, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. We're going to find out, though. I'm going to have a crack here at just trying to sign him normally with just straight-up cash. I don't want to swap for a player or anything like that. I think, hopefully, we could be able to get him for about 8 to 9. I'm still going to start off by asking for basically what he's currently worth, 6.5 mil. And if we can get a bargain, we get a bargain. But I don't think that's going to be the case. Sorry, what? Uh, okay. Okay. I was not expecting that. That is... Hang on a minute. Even if we were to sell that guy in the future for, let's say, $50 million. Like, he goes up about a thousand something percent in his value over the course of this career mode. That is still only like 1%. That's like half a million bucks. A 1% sell-on clause. I cannot believe that. That's... Or, re or future self. I'm blown away by that. I don't think I've ever had that happen. Well, I'm paying basically exactly what he's worth. Plus a 1% sell-on fee clause, whatever. Oh my god. No. I am more than happy to fucking shut that on. I was expecting to pay about 8 million. I mean, yeah, no. Unless he ends up being the greatest ever and we sell him for about a billion dollars. That's the only way that 1% is ever going to be ending up more than what I was expecting to pay. Unbelievable. Um, I'm a happy man after that. But Ryan Shirky, let's get you signed up, mate. And let's get you in a Masters FC kit. You got to think of all the cash now that we're going to save with, uh, with this too. I do need to give him the wage though. Can I give him, say, 10 grand and a bloody, I don't know, 10 grand signing bonus as well? I know, I don't know why I'm just chucking in the signing bonus, but hey, hopefully that's enough. And indeed it is. I had a feeling it would be. With him getting the crucial squad role, I wanted to play it safe, but welcome Shirky. Ryan Shirky goes in at right wing. I suppose I'll start him for the... Uh, foreseeable future. I mean, I know Amores has been doing pretty well for us, scored in like the last game, but if we were to compare the pair, it's really only pace that he seems to be better at. So, I mean, either way, we'll, we, we've got him on the bench if we need him. I'll play Shirky and uh, yeah, oh my god, guys, that is a, an amazing addition. Leaves me with about three mil in the bank and I can definitely use that to, uh, I don't know, at least dish out some more contracts, sign some Youth Academy players, promote some Youth Academy players, but I could maybe even make one more signing. I don't know. It wouldn't be anything crazy, but still, though. I'm a quite a happy man after that one. Either way, we have got our first home game of this championship season, okay? So we're taking on QPR. I've had to rotate a little bit. Smallbone's coming in in the middle for Delaney, who was a bit tired. Wilson's coming up right back. And Ryan Shirky will start his first game. Palmer's still in goal. I will play Diaz maybe in the next game, but... Uh, for now, this will be our team for the first home game in the championship season. Got our first win in our first game. Hopefully, we can go back to back. And can our new signing hopefully deliver for us on his debut as well? Fingers crossed for him, lads, but off we go. First home game back in the TMB arena for this season. Got to get the win. Got to make sure we take care of business, that is for sure. And if this man has a big game, then I'm all for it. We're getting a debut, the new home kits as well. And oh my God, don't they just look absolutely stellar. I'm in love with it. I love Vodafone as a kit sponsor for this season. Righto, lads, let's get this game kicked off. Timothy Weyer, the honour is all yours. Here we go. First game in the stadium for the championship, and we've got to hopefully grab the win to see off these home fans nice and happy in our first game of the season. 
You can already see a run being made here by... I'm going to go for this first time with Hadji. I don't know why I thought I thought I had maybe a chance. It was pretty close in the end to the keeper. But, uh, oh, imagine if he'd pulled this off. In comes the delivery. Way out. Oh, this has got to be... Oh, come on! That is as easy as you like for Timothy Weyer. He gets front position, the cross into the box, and, like, it's barely... It's it, Like, there are two players that are going up for that ball with him. But when he's right in front of the both of them, I knew from the second that ball was in, the second he got that position, this was going in. The goalkeeper could only watch. The, the defender on the line actually, you know, sort of made a move toward it, but no one was stopping that. Well, there you go. Five minutes in. How perfect is that? Oh, that's nice from Smallbone. He made the tackle. Amos gets there. Shirky. Wilson. Could look at this side here, and we could be on. Definitely. Leshy, is he going to make a move here? Time that ball in. That could be brilliant. Julio Lecce! Number two for today. The threaded ball here. Look at the absolute acres of space that Baines has under no pressure at all. He's able to play a phenomenal ball in for Lecce. Has to hit this first time, and he does. And goodness gracious me, he leaves the keeper with very little chance. Well, our, our first home game in the championship is going bloody swimmingly so far. QPR just, I don't know. They're not up for it. I won't say anything too early, but... Uh, we're doing very well. I mean, even Ryan Shirky now has a chance to maybe at least provide an assist. He could get a goal himself. The stopover. Nah, he'll get the assist, hopefully. Yes, he will! It's Baines now! But it's going impeccably well. QPR fans are about to start packing up and leaving already. Oh, wow. You can see immediately. Yep, they are pressing like crazy every time I get the ball. And it might... Yes, it will get him a goal. Okay, so I have to know this now. They're going to start pressing like fucking crazy. They snatch a goal back, but when they play like this, that aggressively and assertively, if I can get around their press, it, it could mean that, that the game could finish like 7-1. But uh, yeah, shame to leak that last one so late on. But we are still in a pretty comfortable lead here, so long as we don't bottle it. We should be on for uh, three points. Shirky hasn't scored yet, but he provides an assist. Not too bad a debut to start things off, I'll say. Lovely tackle there from Baines, having himself a game. Having himself a game brilliantly. Way up, uh, feeding in. Oh, Hadji this time. Number four. Oh, yes, baby. It is absolutely magnificent. This is a game that I said before could finish like 7-1 or something. I think if it doesn't, I've honestly done myself a disservice because this... This QPR team has absolutely no defense. I'm under the most pressure when I've got the ball in my own third and they're pressing me. When I get in behind, it's a joke. I, there is no, I'm under no threat. Giannis Hadji looking for QPR's defense because there is none to be found anywhere. It's, it's ridiculous. It feels like every single new person I score with is getting their first goal in the league, honestly. We've had so many individual goal scorers already in just our first two games of the season. It's a turnover again. You've got to be kidding me. Right side here, and here comes Will Smallbone. All the way up forward. No one chasing. No one to pressure. Number five. There's another one. Go and get your first league goals of the season, lads. They're up for grabs. Unbelievable. The only defender back is too busy marking Timothy Weyer. Doesn't even think to go to the guy on the ball until it's way too late. I'm just going to punish QPR then and, and make this thing an absolute riot. I'm not able to get... You know, big wins like this all very often on Ultimate Difficulty, competitor mode, the fucking sliders jack the way up they are, but when these when these chances come, I'm taking them. Got wear on the ball here, we've got small bone, I've got Shirky, could this be the moment? Tight angle for him, Ryan Shirky, he's still going to get it to go! There it is! There is the first goal of Ryan Shirky's Masters FC career. Oh my goodness me. It's hardly a goal that's going to decide anything, but oh my. Plenty of space, tough angle for him, but he still converts on the left peg. Whether it's his left or his right foot, with five-star weak foot and skill moves, I can ensure him, get, I'll ensure he gets the job done. A goal and an assist on debut. How good is this from our new number 10? The game is very well over. I'm making all my changes right at the end here. Why the hell not? But, uh, oh my goodness me, it's been a, it's been a day. Oh shit, he's got it again. He sure does make a lot of interceptions. He reminds me a little bit of Taki Fusakubo, the man that won all the balls back for me. I said it could be 7-1 today, and it's going to finish 7-1 today with Edward Delaney off of the bench, grabbing himself a goal. Oh, it's too perfect. It is too perfect. Can you believe it? Again, huge gap up the middle. Baines plays one in. God, she'd probably have had three assists today, I reckon, Jack Baines. But Edward Delaney ends up scoring. 
on his left peg to make it 7-1. And I, I called it at, I called it at halftime. Unbelievable start to our championship season. Hopefully it'll, uh, it'll continue. Referee, put him out of their misery. Put him out. 7-1, QPR. It's a shellacking in the first game of the championship. And hopefully this is a sign of more to come, you know. We've done amazingly here. This is just the way that they play. They give us so many opportunities to go forward and score. And it's been an amazing day. What an amazing day for Masters FC, for that man on his debut. If he was ever going to score a goal in any game on their debut, today was the day. And he's been able to pull it off. Great debut. Great day all around for everybody. Unbelievable. 7-1 at the end. Unreal. It wasn't a perfect day, I guess. We still lost our clean sheet. But Delaney right now is the only man... On more than a goal, but we have after two games, three, four, five, six, seven, eight individual goal scorers after just two games. That is mad. Goodness me, that is crazy. I have got now a game against Middlesbrough coming up in the uh, in the Carabao Cup. I'm I'm tempted to play it with my second team, and then maybe I might sim a handful of the league games that we have. I could probably leave it with like the Sheffield. Wednesday game coming up possibly just as a bit of a chance to get a game in early on in the season with more of my You know second team my second string just to see you know that lot get a run So we're going with a starting 11 of Diaz in goal his first game will give him a run in this cup game He could still very well be the number one keeper. Don't worry uh, if his overall keeps ticking up We got both with Jackson pass collar brands Wilson in the back line Willick Evans Smallbone and then we've got Lyndon Gooch Burke and Amores is going to start this game here as well after not playing the last one. Middlesbrough have some nice game, you know, good players in there. Tavernier, Akpom, nice players. Dale Fry, very good for championship level. And we've got to try to find a way to get past them to get through the next round. Can we do it? I mean, just by looking at their team, their starting 11, I feel like that's a pretty strong starting 11 for them. So gosh, I mean, who knows? This could be a really good Middlesbrough team that we are playing with our second string side and like, who knows what'll happen? Who knows? Who knows? Our new goalkeeper, Ricard Diaz, might have a little bit on his plate in his first game. Let's, uh, let's see how this one goes. Live from the TMB Arena, we're off and rolling for this first Carabao Cup game of the season. Can we hopefully have some sort of a, a cup run in this season? Something that we were missing in the first season. Trying my best here. If that can get up over the top, which it will, but Berg throws himself at it. He won't get there, though. The header is going to be lost. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, that's a really good ball. Brilliantly timed. Oh, Ricard Diaz has not been able to come up with a save in his uh, first attempt on his goal. I'll tell you what, my fucking right back, Wilson, just got absolute... I don't even know, man. It feels like he was just standing there. Like, he just... The momentum he... Uh, the, the attacker, like, honestly, just show the replay. He's fucking standing still, and it takes him so long. What's with the fucking delay to get him sprinting? I don't know. It feels like I was holding down the sprint button, and he's just... And then eventually got going. Like, what's the fucking hold up, mate? I don't understand. Jones is able to go through because of it, and scores, and bloody Diaz. I would love for him to have made a save in his first shot or attempt on goal, but no, of course not. Easily turned over here. Small bone. Left side. And again, we've got Lyndon Gooch, the American. He could level this up immediately. No. Save there by the keeper. Crossed in. I have got here Oliver Burke going for the bicycle kick. No good. It's uh, okay, bit of contact. But unfortunately, in the end, pretty far wide. In the middle, we're trying to create something here. Evans. He's been dispossessed again. Nathan Evans. Come on, man. And Wilson, I'm fucking done with you getting torched by Jones. You're just jogging half the fucking game. Can you make a tackle there? At least he makes up for it. Well done. Got Gooch. Holds it up. Nicely done here. Borthwick Jackson's going to get on a run. I've got Danny Morris at the back stick here. I'm going to have an attempt here. Oh, it's a great cross and a great header that I was not expecting to win. Danny Morris busts out that Spanish dance of yours. The cross from Borthwick Jackson, it's a good one. Amores gets ahead of his man, flies at it, and it hits the top of that bandana of his and hits it flush. Unreal. Was not expecting him to win that header, but he's done it and leveled it up. Not often you can just cross a little something something into the box and uh, actually be rewarded for it and score a goal. But Danny, mate, magnificent. Let's go, baby. Danny Moraes is now the only player in the club right now with more than a goal to their name this season so far from three. And uh, he joins Edward Delaney, but a brilliant start. 
Oh, I've gone right through the back of him here with uh, Kevin Holobrains. This could be a card for sure, but uh, is it anything worse than a yellow? I suppose we're about to find out. No, it is only a yellow card. Thank you. But still, it's actually a somewhat dangerous spot for a free kick to be. I'm going to have someone on the line. The guy that I've got on the line isn't actually that tall. He's going to lay this off. We get in the way with the Mores. A brilliant block. I Nah, we're not going to have time. Ah, uh, it's okay. We uh, go down right pretty much at the beginning of the match, but uh, we've been able to find a leveler through Danny Amores and a very nice cross from Borthwick Jackson. I may or may not sub on some of my bigger guns when we uh, get a little deeper in this half if we need to. Good play. I don't know about that through ball. Oh, my God. We're still somehow able to keep this going. Unreal effort here. Burke trying to get inside of his defender. It was too tight an angle to shoot from before. Oh, my God. That was a chance. Wasted. Amores. Oh, that didn't work. It's okay. He's gone and got it back. Evans here. Smallbone here. Got a chance here. Burke this time. This time, Oliver Burke beating the keeper from a much more reasonable opportunity. And we lead finally. Let's go. That's a nice little uh, bit of play and good run off the ball there from Burke to get away from his defender. Runs into the gap, staying on side. And yeah, he's got to bury that every time and he does. Nice work. Oh, nice. Nice ball up the top here. One more goal would maybe not completely end it, but it would make it very good indeed. A chance here. Deflection off of Bowler. One more pass on. I think maybe would have been the option or should have been what I should have done. At least we've still got a corner here. A chance. Evans. Can't get the header on it. Gooch. There's an angle there to shoot. Ah, oh, man. That was wishful. On the counter-attack again. And Ricard Diaz. Why can I not rely on any of my goalkeepers? Even the 69 rated 18, 19 year old who should have plenty of upside. He can't stop anything right now on his goal. I'm trying to chase back with Holobrands. Akpom's away. Nothing. What's it going to take? Where do I find my next Mark Travers from? Because I'm just not able to fucking... I don't know. There is no replacing Mark Travers, I feel like, in this team. God damn it. Pass here from Nathan Evans. Oh my god. Players need to go. Some players need to get dragged. I'm sorry. Sorry, mate. Evans, you gotta go. Delaney's coming in. Small bone. I could even get rid of you. Fuck it. I'd rather have Ezra Smith in. 52 rated. Let's try it. I'm tempted to almost take off Diaz. But changes need to be made, man. Mates need to be made massively. Make the tackles, boys. You're just fucking killing me right now. Every single tackle, even if we make it, seems to go right back to him anyway. Wilson. has got it. Goes around. Here we go now. Is there a chance to move here? Chance here. Delaney to the right side. He's going to be offside. He's taking too long with the fucking ball. Come on, man. Ah, oh, it's going to get out of bounds. i got two minutes to get a move on here. Oh, I don't think this is... Nah, it's not going to happen. Unless I turn it over and give them the chance. There's, there's no way. There's no way. We're not getting this. There's no way. Nah, we're not. Besides, even then, I don't really have much on. It's going to go to extra time. It, it, it has to be. Has to be, doesn't it? Oh my goodness, how could I forget? Carabao Cup, there is no extra time. We're straight into penalties. I should have made changes. I would have brought on bloody, I don't know, Timothy Weyer or something like that. Anyway, Edward Delaney, first penalty for you, son. And that's right in the corner. Come on, Diaz, you've unfortunately let two in, but you could become a hero if you do well in this shootout. Oh, Danny Amore is lovely. O'Neill now. Are they looking either way? Anyway, Diaz! There's a save! Finally! I'm going to go in that exact same spot here with the... Uh, Linden Gooch. Paw, tucked away. Looking good so far, lads. Come on. Oh, he's tried the dink and he saves it with his lead! Ricard Diaz makes two saves. And now, Willick with the chance to win it. We're going for this top right-hand corner. Bang! It's put away! Oh, yes! We get two saves from Ricard Diaz after he unfortunately couldn't stop the two in the actual game itself. But nice work. Willick wins it for us. And even though we let one goal in late, we're still going to win it through the penalty shootout. Come on there. In the end, that was fairly routine. It was nearly perfect if it wasn't for uh, Diaz just going the wrong way for that first penalty. Matty Willick ghosted the entire game, but then wins the game with a penalty shootout. How good is that? How fun. Well, that is us now into the next round of the Carabao Cup with Brighton away being our next opponent in that competition. 
were formerly a Premier League team, not anymore. They've been relegated to the championship. So it's another championship game against another championship opponent. I might sim a handful of games. Brentford apparently haven't gotten off to the best of start. So let's give this a run. Going back out there with the main team again now that they're fully fit, ready to go. Do we get a result with my strongest team? We only manage a 1-0 win and our right back Bolton scores it. Again, I suppose that's just bloody hell, another individual goal scorer in this team. And we keep getting offers for him as a result. Look at the amount of teams that have come in for him. Literally, Bristol City now. I don't want to let him go, especially now that he's gone up to 68. He shows that he's definitely got uh, a bit of room to grow. And maybe one last game I'll sim to. This one against Millwall. We will eventually play them at some point this season, but I'll go out there again. Main team. They're all a little tired, but... Still will run it. Oh my god, it's gone hor Oh, it's gone horridly. Because Delaney's been injured as well on top of that. On top of losing 3-1. That, uh, that is not the best day out. Hadji scores our only goal. Nine days for Edward Delaney with a bruised rib. So that's basically him out for the pretty much entirety of the rest of the month. Not what you want to see. It's our first loss of the season though after winning our first four. It's not like we're doing terribly, but... We'll probably leave things here. Sheffield Wednesday will be the first game I play it. And we still have about a week and a half left in the window. Continuously getting offers for bloody Bolton. And they keep going up. And they keep getting weirder. Brentford, the guy that... Um, I swear to God, this guy scores against Brentford and beats them. Then they want him for 4 mil. Now Guangzhou, bloody China wants him. But yeah, I reckon we can leave things here though with Sheffield Wednesday. We'll play that at the start of the next episode. Wrap up this transfer window. Maybe I make another signing or two. But once we are done in the window, we'll just push on real deep into the season. And it's been a good start so far, minus one little hiccup. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 goal scorers already from just 5 games having been played this season that is a beautiful sight to see that we're sharing the sugar that so many players can score goals and it'll definitely make the player of the season voting very interesting if it stays like this throughout the entirety of the season but that is still yet to be seen we're only just getting started in the championship baby see you in the next episode ladies and gentlemen till then don't forget like and subscribe catch you for the next one my name is the master bucks see you later and bye bye